first thing that um, hit me was Jack's script. I, I loved it. I mean, it, it felt like a, a very modern retelling of something which was a classic piece of literature, you know, a, a glorious piece of classic literature, um, everyone's favourite book. Um, and what he'd done is he'd, he, he writes children brilliantly, Jack, and uh, he'd just written these children as sort of... Uh, imperious children jousting with each other and it was very funny uh, very real and uh, had enormous amount of heart in it it's a very gothic book in lots of ways or, or at least the adaptations have been quite gothic of the novel and it starts off almost like a ghost story and I really relish the idea of taking this little girl into this uncanny, strange, vast house where she's lost in it. Um, so that was the first thing. And then uh, there was the garden, of course, uh, which I thought we had an opportunity to make something much more fantastical and immersive than any garden that you'd seen in adaptations before. Pan's Labyrinth was a, was a reference in that, and I love that film. Um, Obviously, this is a very sort of redemptive story about children finding love, so it's a very different piece. But just in terms of, sort of the way that the garden interacts with the child, I think that's a good reference. <laughs>